Hey, what's up guys? It's, it's me. So you passed AZ900. That's awesome. But let me be real with you. That's not going to get you a job. I know, I know it's tough to hear that. But the job market in cloud and IT is tighter than ever. Everyone is adding AZ900 to their resume and still not getting any interview phone calls. In this video, I'll show you what to do next. Which Azure certification makes you job ready and how to make yourself stand out when everybody else has the same certification. Are you ready for this? Let's dig. Guys, AZ900 is a great start. It shows that you understand the basics of cloud computing and Azure services. But here's the problem. It's not technical enough. It doesn't prove that you can configure, deploy, or troubleshoot anything. Here's a fact. Most hiring managers don't even list it as a required certification in job postings. It's like showing that you read the user manual but you have never used the tool guys here is the job market reality and i'm going to be very honest with you there are way more applicants than there are entry-level cloud jobs right now and most of them have certifications so by just having az900 won't automatically land you a job employers are looking for people who can actually do the work not just pass an exam that means hands-on skills, real examples, real experience, and the ability to show what you know. So here's what you should do next. The next real step should be AZ-104, the Azure Administrator Associate. This certification is more technical and it actually covers what companies want. Managing virtual machines, storage, networking, Azure Active Directory, and more. When I conduct the interviews, this is the certification which shows that the candidate can actually work in Azure. And don't stop at studying. Get your hands on. Sign up for free Azure account. Spin up a few virtual machines. Break stuff and fix it. And guys, document your learning in a blog or LinkedIn post. That's what makes you stand out. And here's how you can stand out beyond certification. Guys, here's the truth. Certifications get you in the conversation, but they don't guarantee a job. What gets you hired is effort and proof. Here's what you need to do starting today. Practice in Azure regularly. Build a simple cloud project like a website or file share on Azure. Post your progress on LinkedIn weekly. Help others in cloud forums. Keep a GitHub or blog with what you have learned so far. Guys, these things show initiative, growth, and real world ability. And they're all free to do and you know the best part everything is free so let me ask you this have you already taken az 900 are you planning to take az 104 or you're just unsure what to do next drop me a comment below i'd love to hear from you and i'll reply i promise guys don't let the az 900 be the end of your learning keep going build practice and stand out. People who land jobs in cloud aren't the one with the most certifications. They're the one who put in more work. You got this. I know you can do it. So that's it, folks. If you find this content helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so other people who are in need can find this video easily. Stay tuned for more beginner-friendly IT content. Until next time, take care.